Dixon's victory in the men's singles, we turn our attention to mixed doubles. And it's Dichapon Puarvan Nukro and Sapsuri Tevarat Tanachai, the number three seeds and world championship silver medalists, up against the former champion Praveen Jordan and his new partner Malati Diva Octavianti. Well, when we look at the race to Guangzhou standings in the mixed doubles, I can tell you that six pairs in the top ten have all contested a final during the qualifying period. But after this week in Birmingham, uh, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith will go to number one on that list because they reached the semi-final here. The current number six on that uh, list, Wang Lu and Wang Dongping, by virtue of their quarter-final, they'll go up two places to number four. But both finalists are not on that list. Jordan and Octavianti are currently 25, and Puar Varanukro and Teirat Tanachai are two places below them at 27. Well, when we look at the mixed doubles draw from the quarter-final stage, uh, seven different nationalities, two from Indonesia, but only five seeds. And the uh, notable loss was last year's uh, champions, Cheng Shiwei and Wang Yashiong. They lost in the second round. And the champions from the year uh, prior to that, to 2018, Watanabe and Higashino, they also lost in the second round. Uh, by a semi-final stage, we were down to three seeds, but four different nationalities. And that's actually the fourth time at the All England Championships in the last five years in the mixed doubles discipline. We've had uh, four pairs from four different countries. And that's always very refreshing that there's so much diversity in this particular discipline. This is the Yonex Calling the Open Badminton Championships 2020 Mixed Doubles Final. Please welcome the players. First up, the number three seeds from Thailand, Dejapal, who about a new throw, and Sapsiri, to get up to that time. To Avaranukro and Sapsari Teira Tanajai. A chance to make history today because no player from Thailand has ever won an All England title across all five disciplines. And they have the chance today to rewrite the record books. who won the title here previously with Debbie Susanto. That was four years ago. Now playing with Malati Diva Octavianti. Won the gold medal at the Southeast Asian Games at the end of last year in Manila. And last year, won two Super 750 events back to back. They won the Denmark Open. That was actually their first ever title when playing in their sixth final together. And since then, they've gone from strength to strength. Now, as you can see, this is the sixth meeting between these two pairs. And uh, the uh, three matches have been won by Jordan and Octavianti. And it's the last three encounters that the Indonesian pair have won. The last time they met red. was the choice? quarterfinal of the French 750, the which they won in just 28 Kavina's minutes. Yeah. And receiving? Okay, which side? So, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, Morton, that the Thai pair won the toss and chose to serve. Yes, that's how I saw it as well. Yeah. So here is Sapsari Teirat Tanachai. Will turn 28 next month. Born in Udontani. And she and her partner are enjoying uh, their 29th week in total on their second spell at their career high of three. Fifth a consecutive appearance here at the All England. They were quarter-finalists last year, but this is a huge step forward. 
Mahdi Chupon Puavaranukro is 22 years of age, born in Chonbori, which means city of water. And uh, last year, they were in six uh, finals, winning three titles. The Singapore Open, the Korean Open, and the Macau Open as well. Haven't had the best of starts to the year. They lost in the second round in both Malaysia and Indonesia. But they've been very impressive uh, so far. Quarter-final against the number eight seeds, Hafiz Faisal and Gloria Emmanuel Wajaya. And then in the semi-final, that was an absolute thriller against the number six seeds, the two left-handers, Su Xiang Jai and Che Yu Jung, winning through in an hour and 23 minutes, 21-19 in the deciding game. So to Malati Daiva Octavianti, 25 years of age, born in Sorang, and she and her partner also at a career high. They're high of five, and they're enjoying their 21st consecutive week at that career high. So Praveen Jordan, her partner, who will turn 27 next month, born in Bontang, in East Kalimantan, on the island of Borneo. He won the title, as I was telling you, four years ago with Debbie Susanto. They beat Joachim Fischer and Christina Pedersen in the final. They won their first match in double quick time, 26 minutes. Then they went the full distance against the Malaysians, Tang Kiang Ning and Lai Pei Jin. Quarter final against the number two seeds. That really was a terrific result. Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dong Ting. And 21 19, Ready they actually won on their fourth match point. Semi final, they broke the hearts of the English fans, beating Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith. They actually had three match points in that second game when they led 2017. But uh, they were very strong in the deciding game 21 11 against Ellis and Smith. So, Philip Ayangchi from the United States in the umpire's chair, our service judge from Belgium. Well, I think this discipline, Norton, is the one where we've had most shocks and surprises, the champions for the last two years, both losing in the second round. Yeah, that was a huge surprise. But it just shows how competitive the mixed doubles is, and it's, it's really nice. It's not that predictable, despite the fact that I must say that the two Chinese pairs, they have been very dominant uh, in most of the tournaments. But maybe it's easing up a bit. Who knows? Yes, maybe all the other pairs are catching up. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Techapo Puavaranyukro and Sapsiri Teratanachai, Thailand. <laughs> And on my left, Melati, Taeva, Octavianti, and Praveen Jordan, Indonesia. <laughs> Praveen Jordan to serve to Dechapo Puavaranya Pro. Love all, play. So the number five seeds from Indonesia, Praveen Jordan and Melati, Taeva, Octavianti. Nearest to us with red shirts. Up against the number three seeds, Tichapon, Puavaranukro, and Sapsari, Teirat Tanachai. Sixth meeting between these two pairs, Morton, but it is the first time that they've ever met in a final. Service for yeah, but I, I, I must say, I have a sneaky feeling that the uh, fact that uh, Jordan and Octaviandi has won the last three encounters between these two pairs. I think that's going to count for a lot. Yeah. I, I just sense it. And also the fact that Praveen Jordan has experienced an All England final in the past when he won here four years ago. That's added on to it. Yeah. But I must say, though, again, when we know Praveen Jordan, as we've said so often before, he can blow hot and cold. You never know. Yeah. That's exactly what Steen Peterson said yesterday. Ah. 
good rally. My goodness, it's a good rally. Brilliant. Oh, I don't believe it. How on earth did that smash come back? That was extraordinary. Three, Defence. One. I'm pretty certain it was from Teirat Tanachai. Yes, it was. Look at that. How did she get that back? That's utterly amazing. that no player from Thailand Wait. has ever won an All England title. Of course, Rachinuk Intanon in the women's singles was beaten in the final twice in 2013 and 17. But Follow there was a mixed doubles pair in the final, if you Service remember. And two, uh, that four. was in 2011. Sukit Prakamol and, and Sarari Sarali, yes. Dong Dongkam lost to a Chinese pair those nine years ago. I think it's the whole battle here is is at the net, and it's, it's up to the two female players to make sure that they're not lifting Service too much five, for two. either pair, because of course if uh, Tyra Tanachai is forced too much to lift for the big smash of Praveen Jordan, that is trouble. But I also feel that. Uh, if uh, Octavianti have to lift too much, she would be under trouble or under pressure in her defence. I have to say, Octavianti yesterday against the English Bear, I thought she was absolutely yeah, super. I saw that. I saw yeah. she played really, really well. And yesterday, I must say that uh, the Korean player Chai Yu Jung really uh, put a lot of pressure on Tyra Tanachai at the net in that semi-final, the other semi-final. I think the Thai pair are much happier playing Service almost like level doubles, yes. whereas I think the Indonesian Three. pair are more traditional in their mixed doubles uh, style of play, where they really desperately want to get Octavianti yeah, front. towards the front. Yeah. Well, we saw yesterday in, in the mixed doubles the Thailand pair play that uh, very often they were swapping places, and Paul Ranukro was really a lot at the front. Yeah. Because Tyrat Tanisha had a very nice attack, Service very powerful attack four, from the back, six. and gives some good opportunities to intercept. Yeah. Well, she used to be a very fine women's singles player and still is a very fine women's doubles player. So it's no wonder that she's quite happy from the back of the court. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Only player to win Grand Prix gold titles, Teorat Tanachai, in all three disciplines, women's singles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles. No male player managed to do that. Of course, not playing the women's singles, but the <laughs> men's singles, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, no, I want to misunderstand that one. <laughs> no. I do understand what you said. First time I saw her was in 2010 at the Youth Olympics in Singapore, yeah, she where won. she won the singles. Yeah. Bolt. Six. Oh. I wonder if she'd left that, whether that would have gone out. Yeah. We will never know. Oh, he's missed it. But it's such a powerful smash. It is. Service over it's out seven, of this world. Six. Well, 
it's the first Super 1000 tournament final for both of these pairs. I'm guessing they'll both be equally as nervous. Oh, service fault called. Too high. Service over. The serve was out anyway. Yeah, it was out. Service Judge Robertson from Belgium. Service over, 8-7. Very difficult to tell, isn't it? <laughs> the service judge has those sort of perspex contraptions in front devices. of Devices. Devices, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And they have to match up the lines on the perspex. There's two layers of perspex. I've got to match up the lines, and that should give them the height of... 1.15 meters. Service over eight all. Well left by Kevin Jordan. Service over nine and all. So tempting to take it. And he was really covering the half court push as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's just wide too. Well, there's a challenge here from Kareem the Jordan Indonesians. Challenges called out. I'm with you, Joe. I think that one is out. And thereby, it's a waste of challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over 10, 9, play. Oh. Oh. Well, there's only going to be one point in it at the mid-game interval. It's very intense so far. Yeah. Both players are really fighting for the initiative. Well, it is the Indonesians, Praveen Jordan and Malati Diva Octavianti who have the advantage, that right, one point advantage after 11 minutes of play. Eleven, ten. 
Well, I doubt if either sets of coaches will have really changed the tactics so far. Morton, I mean, you said they're battling very hard, both pairs, and I suspect that the discussions before the match... Oof, that's a great serve. It was a very good serve. I, I'm actually looking forward to, to see a little bit more block shots and, and trying to find the gaps. This is very fast and furious. It's very flat exchanges. I like to see a few of the players taking off the pace, like this one. And, and by doing so, gaining control, that's what we saw here. Yeah. That, that's what I'm looking for. Service over. 11, 12. Certainly, a lot of Indonesian fans are in, aren't they? They're shouting Indonesia, Indonesia. Oof. Well, Service lucky net cord for Fabian Jordan. 11. Yeah, really bounced off the tape. Service oh, service oh, oh, for that's the second time he's been called. Service over, 12-13. Well, he didn't raise his arm at all, his left arm. Sometimes players raise their left arm as yeah, they're about to as, serve. As and when they serve, yes. Yeah, and that, of course, lifts the shuttle up higher. That's out. 13-14. He has to go through it being very tight over the net because otherwise it's going to be intercepted and easily dealt with by Octavianti. And inevitably, if you try and make your shots perfect the whole time, you will make a few mistakes. That was a shocking serve. Yeah, it was very, very high. Oh, my goodness. It. Fifteen, thirteen. But it is interesting to see how Praveen Jordan is, is growing in confidence. Yes. You can see he really wants it. He's really up there. He wants to do this one. Yeah. And sometimes when we've seen him at other times, you know, other tournaments and so on. Sometimes it's hard to find that and see that commitment in him. Mm. But you can really sense it here. Yeah. Over with Yanto, the Indonesian coach. Getting a little bit nervous in his chair realizes that this is a huge opportunity for this pair. That's very, very well taken. It is. I, I, I really do agree with you that uh, she is playing well, Octavianti. I've not had the privilege to see her this week, but uh, I definitely concur with you. She's playing well. Yeah. Good interception. Good save. So is that. I don't believe it. Yeah, that's all that attack, isn't it? Fabulous. All what a rally. Attack. Eighteen, 
I think they definitely created the gap they need to take the uh, opening game. I can't believe how much... As about three times, I thought the rally must be over before it really was over. Good defensive skills from uh, for one round the crow and uh, Tanner like Tanachai. Yeah, but they're not going to actually win by defending, are they? No, and that's why I said before, they have to find the gaps. They yeah. have to try to find the gaps and play them and get the lifts because if they're into this fast and furious flat exchanges and all that, they're not going to win. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, it's a good return. Service over. 14, 18. a flatter smash that time from Jordan and that was clever play service over well he is all out 19, attack 14. every given opportunity and really backed up well by Octavianti good interception Look at that, clinical smash straight down the line, well, and it's game point opportunities. But the way he's serving, he is serving so well. Yeah. And it's almost impossible to attack it. from Jordan was really good. <laughs> he was really trying to get it away from trouble. Try to have a look at it. 15, 20. This one here, but really well covered by Dijipal. Praveen Jordan and Malati Daiva Octavianti. 21 15. Absolute Praveen relentless Praveen attack from the two Indonesians. ไม่ใช่ไปแทงง่ายไม่ผ่านเข้าตรงกลางไม่ใช่เขียออกข้างสองข้างตั้งใจที่จะเขียออกข้างจริงๆ
ไม่ใช่ตีแค่ผ่านไปรับเอาแค่เรารับแค่ความรู้สึกว่าได้เปลี่ยนเขียนเอาข้างหัวลูกลงจบเขาได้ตีอันเดอร์วัตถุประสงค์แค่นี้ปุ่มวัตถุประสงค์So the advice from Tessana Panvistas for the Thai pair. And another Woody Anto for the Indonesians. Well, I was going to say the second half of that opening game, but I think it was a little longer than just half of that opening game. Really impressive play from Praveen Jordan and Malati Diver of the Vianti. So one game to the good, the Indonesians. Yeah, that's well taken. So, Morton, Praveen Jordan is just one game away from winning his second all in the mixed doubles title with two different partners. So yes. my quiz question today, Ooh. and I know you've missed my quiz question. Yeah, I do, you? I do, but I had prepared on that one. <laughs> My quiz question is, the last mixed doubles player to win two All England titles with two different partners? In mixed doubles? Mixed doubles. Bolt. Oh, double hit. Bolt. Yep, no argument from the Indonesians. Oh. Park Dupont. No. Much, much more recently. But he did it, didn't he? Didn't he win? He did, he did, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I was not far from. <laughs> yeah. OK, we're going going recent times. Or... Yes, so I've said the last winner. Yeah. I haven't said last male winner. No. But I will ask you that as well, <laughs> which gives a bit of a clue that the last player to win two with two different partners was female. Was female, yes. Well turned. That's nice. Um, Close uh, down the mid-court area. Yes, I think Two, it must be um, Natsia. No. More recent. But she won twice as well, didn't she? Hasn't she won with two different ones? No, she never won with Nova Widianto. Didn't she? No. They won twice the World Championship, so that was a good guess. Wait. OK. Do you give in? Yes. Won Yashion, won in 2017 with Liu Kai. Yeah. And right. last year with Sing Shui. Yeah. yeah, that's well taken. Very well taken. And the last male player <laughs> was actually <laughs> Thomas Lund. Oh. One in two in 1992 with Penilla Dupont, and then in 1995 with yeah. his now Malini. wife, yeah, Malina yeah. Thompson. Yeah. So 25 years since the last male player won a second All England. Title with the second partner. Yeah. She is playing well up to the ante. She was yesterday. Really she... solid in her interceptions, I think. Not making many mistakes, just keeping it very solid, making sure. And then, of course, having that big smash behind her. Service oh, fault. Service fault. Oh, that's the third Praveen. time he's been faulted. Praveen Jordan, come here. Praveen, come here. Talk to me. Yeah. It's too high. Right and, hand or right? And the umpire. Shuttle is too high. Shuttle's above the line. The umpire's quite right. Can't have players. Arguing with the service judge, service any over. discussion must go through the umpire. That can have an effect on the match. Yeah. I must say, it can. Because I mentioned Four, earlier three. that Praveen Jordan is serving really, really well. And if that somehow is creeping insecurity into that serve, it can change the whole scenario in this match. Yeah, I agree. So this is important, as you said, third time now he's been fought it. Three. And maybe he's uh, sort of losing confidence on that serve. 
Yeah, it's a good placement of the smash from Di Chapon. Well, definite signs that the Thai pair four, want to be five. a little more aggressive here in the second game. Look how he's stepping forward. Try and take control of the net. Didn't work on that occasion. It's certainly a sign of intent. the Thai pair really have to try to push their half-court shots just behind Octavianti. I know that Jordan is, is standing up quite close behind her, but they have to find that gap between Service the two. Scorer. And at Six. the moment when they're blocking wow. to the net, Octavianti is just too close. She's up there the whole time. So they have to drop it just behind her, over her shoulder. Yeah. Easier said than done. It is. I agree. But it's an All England title at stake. Defense from Alt to the Anti. Service over. Six all. Rally well worked by uh, Dishapon, I think. It's a little bit unfortunate. I think he really played a good rally. Super shot, isn't it? Yeah, but look at how close up behind Octavianti he's standing, closing down that mid-court area. Praveen Jordan. So what about if the Thai pair tried a couple of return of serves deep into court? Uh, yeah, and deep into the two corners. Yeah. That's an option as well. But the problem is that Praveen Jordan is serving so well, so very often when you go in, you, you have to play the shot upwards. Mm. because he's serving so well and that's not easy Reaction, wasn't it? Service over eight. All. Well, I don't know what you think, Joe, but I. I I honestly think that the Thailand pair is much more proactive and much more aggressive in their thinking now and not yes. just reacting to whatever the Indonesians are doing, but they're really trying to take control. Pitch upon much, much more active now. Oh, well, it's a little bit lucky from Teirat Tanajai. Nine, eight. Yeah. 
was an inevitability about the attacking smashes there from Praveen Jordan. You feel, well, OK, one, two, three, needed four to get through on that occasion, but one feels he's gained to get through on yeah, that attacking he, play. He played patient shots. He was yeah. not going crazy shots. He was yeah. playing good pressure shots, but patient shots as well, yeah. not to make mistakes. And so often we see that he's going, gone all out for soft stuff like that, and then that's when he's making the mistakes. Yeah. Ten, nine. initially from Octavianti to get Service back the net cord were astonishing. Ten all. That's amazing. the Indonesians who have a one-point advantage at the mid-game interval. Well left. of this final from the Thai pair. Oh, it was a good call by the line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Thirteen, ten, play. So one wonders if uh, Jordan and Octavianti is sort of establishing that little gap it takes. The tyre pair really have to watch out. Yeah, I agree. Service over, 11-13. This is one of the ways for the Thai pair. Tarat Tanachai have to move up closer to the net. She's got to take control. She has to win that initiative over Octavianti. Oh, that's a good serve. Yeah, superb level. Superb serve. 
Look how that close that was to the net. Skimmed the net. That's what you want. And it looks so easy. And I'm telling you, it is so difficult. Oh! Yeah, she's challenging more, definitely. But that's what I mean. That I, I think that's the way forward for the Thailand pair. First great points. Go back into the lead. work as well. Short. Yeah. Very, very good work. On fire. By Puabaranukro. Absolutely on fire. 15, Five straight points now. But this is what I've been advocating from the very beginning for the Thailand pair, that they have to find that initiative and they have to find the aggressiveness and really scoring the points and that's what they're doing now and they've got five in a row as you said oh, oh, standing miles in. what on earth was he thinking forgot the drift that surely wasn't just drift mind you I think at match points yesterday against Ellison Smith, he left one that was similar six inches in or something. <laughs> well, their run comes to an end, but those six straight points have put the tie pair Service right over. back in this final. 14, 16. Example from Tyrek Tanachai, how she is really going in and challenging at the net. Over she was 17, playing 14. two or three of the shots, that's two of them, three. Look at that, how she's keeping the pressure on the net. That was a good flick serve. And now the number three seeds, just three points away from sending this to a third and deciding game. Aggressive, and as Morton was saying, much, much more proactive. 19, Two points away from the second game. Are you in Indonesia? Wait. That was a good interception from Kairat Danachai. And again, and again, and again. <laughs> a completely different complexion to the match. Yeah. Service over 16 19. <laughs> Oh, 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 That's 
a fourth time. And that service fault means that it's game point opportunities for the tie pair to level this final uh, one game apiece. Challenge, it's game over. And we're in to a decider. Now it's clearly in. So no challenges left for the tie pair challenge in this second game. No challenges remaining. Service over 17 20. Play. This is sometimes where we see the Indonesian pair do these remarkable comebacks. of position but we will be treated to a third and deciding game 21 17 the second game in favor of Nukro and Taylor Tanachai and it's one game all First of our finals to go the full distance. Well, what a great match it really has developed into. Shot from Praveen Jordan flat Two. over the net. So little backswing with his racket there. His forearm is so strong. Yeah, as proved again there. Once again there. Same thing. 
There's no swing to it. start by the Indonesians and Morton here's another fun fact for you since the inception of the Super Series and now the World Tour we've had 13 previous All Englands within that, that sort of uh, Super Series World Tour bracket and 12 of the 13 mixed doubles titles have gone to either Chinese pair or an Indonesian pair yeah. 12 of 13 yeah, that's impressive. Only a Japanese pair two years yeah, ago. Yeah, two years ago. Watanabe and Higashino. Catch Paul. Do not seek coaching. Oh, oh man. Service over. Well, he's been faulted four times. He's made two service errors. So that's <laughs> six points gifted on the Craveen Jordan serve. That's impressive. <laughs> Tried to get that one back. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Service no. over. Six, one. Steepness of shot as well as the power. Oh, my oh, goodness, he's done again. Yeah, that's another one. There. It's, it's the strength of the forearm, but also the relaxing and tightening of the grip, the technique to generate that power. Yes. It's phenomenal. It's awesome. Best of serves, and it got what it deserved. Service over to seven. Oh, oh. he's not helping the tie cause. Over eight, two. Well, they've got to find. Their way back to how they play that second game from uh, 10 onwards. They were 13 10 down, but from there they really found the recipe and they have to re find it somehow. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I thought in the semi final yesterday, this Indonesian pair, when uh, they'd had three match points in the second game against Ellison Smith. The way they came out for the deciding game and the way they played, I thought was great character, and I thought it, it really showed mental toughness. And you seem to be playing with that same sort of authority again here. Same in, recipe. Yeah. yeah. Ten, two. Yeah, it's a tall order for the Thailand pair to come back 10-2 down in the deciding game. an eight-point advantage to Praveen Jordan and Melati Daiba Octavianti at the change of ends here in the deciding game. 
and that is a huge a deficit to try and overcome. Indonesians will be feeling very confident right now. So, what can the Thai pair do in response? Have they got anything left? Can they get themselves back on the attack? Well, that's a little too flat and it's gone long of the back line. Well, it certainly gives to my parents. Bit of a chance. It's definitely now or never. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. They are both the Indonesians. They've really played so well so far. Dr. Vianti was wonderful in her play and solid in her play yesterday, and she's carried that form forward to today's final. I have thoughts on many occasions you know when i look at uh, jordan and octavianti i thought that the coach's decision and choice on octavianti to play with praveen jordan has always been a good choice in terms of that style no dynamics yeah dynamics and and you know the way that they communicate together and and all that it takes to to form a good partnership, you need to have a good understanding between the two players. And I always felt that she was a good choice for Praveen Jordan. Her temperament. Yeah, well played. And the way that, you know, when things are not going so well and Praveen Jordan is not playing to his best, she's accepting it and saying, OK, next time and all that. You know, she's yeah. got that. I don't know, understanding somewhere. And, and also probably calming influence. I, I think so. I think it's an excellent choice. And I'm not saying that because I think they have a good chance of winning this one. I've felt that for the past two years. Yeah. Longest rally of this deciding game so far. It's relentless, the pressure from the Indonesians. 14-5. That was well taken from Melati. Did she get that back? Yeah. Marching towards their goal, Jordan and Octavianti. 
But there was a defensive shot there from Tehran Panachai, where she looked this to one. just this defending one. herself. Yeah. Yeah. Almost knocked her over, literally. She did very well there. Ten point advantage. Odd decision. Yeah. Service over six fifteen. Wait. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Service over. 16-6. Oh, just one. Service over 7-16. Oh, crikey. That's close. That was close. It could be worth the challenge. Yeah, they're probably in such a good rhythm at the moment, they don't want to challenge. No, no, because don't break it. Don't, don't break it. The momentum, Service yeah. Service over 17 Very wise. Seven. It's all about not thinking too much, go with the flow, go with everything that goes well, and just add the pressure. It's long. Yeah, this way out. I can't remember, I've seen Jordan do that. A dive, I... I can't remember, no. ever. It's a sort of dive. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit later than I thought. Yeah. But still, on the floor, you don't see that often. Good serve again. And then a wonderful net shot. And two points away from the title. Opportunities. Twenty match point. Her first service error of the match. Eight twenty. Understandable that she might be a little nervous. They've done it on their second match point opportunity. Praveen Jordan 
Amilati Diver up to the ante, take the All England title for Praveen Jordan, a second All England title. With two different partners. And that really just shows what a class player he is. But I have to say, all week, Octa Vianti has played exceptionally well. Confirmation of the score 21 15, 17 21, 21 8 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and one minute. Well, that deciding game, they were absolutely outstanding. After losing the second game, I have to say in their semi-final against Ellis and Smith, exactly the same thing happened. Lost the second game and then were brilliant in the decider. The moment of victory. And 25 years after the last male player, won two titles with two different partners. Praveen Jordan joins that revered list. Well, they're courtside with Howard Bentham. Let's go and hear what the champions have to say. Let's hear from our mixed doubles champions, Praveen Jordan, Malati Deva, Octavianti of Indonesia, uh, through the translation from Tio. Uh, Praveen, I know you've done this before. Try and describe what winning the Yonex All England actually feels like. Uh, Praveen Jordan, sebelumnya kan udah pernah menang All England. Gimana perasaannya kali ini menang All England lagi? Ya perasaan saya senang sekali ya dan. Saya kedua, gelar kedua kali dengan partner yang berbeda, yang itu uh, kita tahu nggak gampang ya. Dan saya bisa uh, dapat gelar di All England kedua kali dengan partner yang berbeda. Um, he's very happy to win the All England for the second time with different partner. So he's very happy overall, yeah. I'm sure he is. Uh, Malati, uh, the last three times you've played this tie pairing, you've beat them. Was that an advantage coming into this final? Um, kan kalian sebelumnya sudah pernah uh, tiga kali mengalahkan uh, pasangan Thailand ini. Apakah merasa ada advantage di situ, keuntungan? Hmm, gak ada. Maksudnya ini pertandingan besar dan siapapun punya kans buat juara gitu. Jadi kita ya tetap fokus satu demi satu poin. Um, uh, they said no because this is a big match, so um, they don't feel there's an advantage over there. They just try their best to do it. Yeah. And Praveen, a word to your amazing fans that always support you so well here, so noisily. What an atmosphere they create. What, what do you want to say to them? Ya, yeah, saya pertama uh, saya mau mengucapkan buat uh, dukungan supporter Indonesia yang ada hadir di sini. Terima kasih banyak. Uh, dukungan kalian uh, sangat luar biasa sekali dan itu yang membuat kita uh, bisa bangkit lagi di game terakhir. Terima kasih. Uh, they want to say thank you to all Indonesian fans over here. Uh, because of them, they can win the third game. They say thank you, thank you. Great stuff, Praveen Jordan and uh, Malati Deiva, Octavianti, our champions, our mixed doubles champions for 2020 here at the Yonex All England. So, Morton, that means that now 13 of the 14 all England championships. Between two nations. Between two nations, either China or Indonesian pairs. For the record, eight mixed doubles titles in that period since 2007, the start of the Super Series, the two Chinese pairs, and now five titles, two Indonesian pairs. And they really I thought, after looking a little bit nervous right at the start of the match, I thought that once they had settled those nerves, because uh, they were 1-4 down right at the start, but I thought that they stuck to the game, game plan and really looked to attack, as we're seeing in this rally, they looked to attack at every opportunity. Yeah, they have a weapon not a lot of people have, and not a lot of pairs are having the, that powerful smash from the back. But I must say that Octavianti is, is really setting him up very nicely at the back. She's controlling that net, she's getting a lot of lifts, and you know, what more can he ask for? Yeah, exactly. 
also the Thai pair, beaten in the final of last year's World Championships, now beaten in the final of the All England. But who would have thought, prior to the start of this week, that there'd been neither of the top two Chinese pairs in the final? Yeah, that's huge, a surprise. Huge credit to these two pairs who have played brilliantly throughout. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2020 Mixed Doubles. Oh, that's lovely, both pairs chatting to each other as they step forward for the prize presentation. Presentations will be made by the Yonex Volunteer of the Year, Melanie Vickery, and the Chief Executive of Badminton England, Adrian Christie. The Yonex All England Mixed Doubles runners up for 2020 from Thailand, Dejapal Puavara Nukro and Sapsiri Teoratanachai. So the Thai pair of Dejapal Puavara Nukro and Sapsiri Teoratanachai. Well, their very first Super 1000 a final ends in disappointment. Second One more time pair for our from up. Thailand Varanukro, ever to contest an All England Mixed Doubles final. And let's hear it for our gold medal winners. The Yonex All England Open Badminton Championship 2020 Mixed Doubles winners. From Indonesia, Pravin Jordan, Amalati Dayua Octavianti. What a tournament they've had. Started as the number five seeds. They beat the world number twos in the quarter final. Uh, beats an inspired English pair of Ellison Smith in the semi final. And today have the won medals. their Is biggest it? ever Adrian career Christie. title. The, the Yonex All England Championships. A, possession. a second All England for Praveen Jordan. And the trophies. The Yonex All England Mixed Doubles Champions. Praveen Jordan, Malati Deva, Octavianti! A fourth career title. And it's the biggest World Tour event of them all. The All England Championships. Congratulations to our athletes. The last of the photo opportunities. Congratulations to Praveen Jordan, Malati Deva, Octavianti of Indonesia. Oh, that's lovely. The Thai pairing of Dechapol, Puavaranukro and Sapsiri Teyaratanachai putting up a great fight in that final. But it's silver for them at this year's Yonex All England Open. to celebrate with our athletes as they take a lap of honour here at Arena Birmingham. Thanks once again to Melanie Vickery and Adrian Christie. So as they take leave of nice centre stage, we look forward to our fourth final of the afternoon. And it's a repeat of last year's final. It's the defending champion Chen Ufei up against the two-time former champion Tai Su Ying.